Hello, nice. This is Roy out this week's nightly news. First up, we have Natalie Hamilton with Senior Spotlight on Lexi Garza. Hi, I'm Natalie Hamilton, and I'm here with Lexi Garza. So, Lexi, where do you see yourself in 10 years? Um, in 10 years, I see myself graduated from a university and working as a psychologist. Nice. Um, what's a fun fact about you? Fun fact is I have seven siblings total, five sisters and two brothers. Dang. <laughs> um, what's your favorite high school memory? My favorite high school memory has to be going to field trip championships my freshman year and this year for marching band. And what's your favorite thing to do outside of school? My favorite thing to do outside of school is just hang out with friends and like mostly the track team as their team manager. It's just a lot of fun. Thank you, Lexi, and thank you for watching Senior Spotlight. Thank you, Nat, and thank you to Lexi. Next up, we'd like to recognize our Athlete of the Week, Jackie Tremper. What's up? It's Core. This is your Weekly Athletics Report. I'm here with Jackie, junior on the women's varsity softball team. Jackie, you've recently committed to the University of Rhode Island to play D1 softball. What are you doing you know, to prepare yourself to, for that next step? Honestly, I'm just working harder, keeping my head down, um, trying to do my best to, for, to compete at the next level. And that's really it, honestly. I'm just staying quiet. Don't really want anyone to know what's my next move and everything like that, really. But um, just work harder and um, get to that goal and everything like that. Because, I mean, I just accomplished one, but now the next thing is to actually succeed in the D1 level. But, yeah. Mm -hmm. that's really it. Awesome, awesome. And your, your whole team is, you know, doing well. You guys are doing well in league. Uh, what are you guys doing as a team, you know, team bonding-wise? Um, what are you guys doing off the field and on the field to, you know, get the success that you guys are getting right now? Um, honestly, with the help of Dee, because she's also the captain, um, shout out to Dee. She's a really good player out there. With the help of her, we've been really just trying to get everybody to love each other and everything and bond more because we didn't really have that bond last season. But this year, we've been able to communicate more. And out on the field, we're, we're playing much better um, hitting-wise and defense. So it's just a matter of communication that we were missing. And now we really have that with the help of Dee and I that we've been incorporating that. But yeah, that's really it. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you, Cord, and a great job to Jackie. Let's see what sports are happening this week. On April 13th, Boys and Girls Swim have a match against Palm Desert away. Track has a meet against Palm Desert home. Girls Softball has a game against La Quinta away, and Boys Baseball also has a game against La Quinta away. On April 14th, Boys Tennis plays Palm Desert home. Girls Softball has a game against Xavier away, and Boys Baseball also has a game against Xavier away. Lastly, on April 18th, Boys Baseball plays at Palm Desert Lastly, on April 18th, boys baseball plays at the Palm Desert Tournament at home. Next, we'd like to wish a happy birthday to our April birthday nights for this week, along with our staff and teacher birthdays of the month. Now here are a few reminders. Remember to wear your lanyards every day. There will be, there will be random tardy sweeps throughout the school year, so make sure to arrive to class on time. The lost and found has been relocated to the attendance office. If you've misplaced an item like a water bottle or jacket, please check there. Unclaimed items will be donated to charity every two months. Seniors, here are some important reminders. If you know you have unexcused absences or tardies, please visit the attendance office and check to see if you are on the exclusion list. A new updated exclusion list has been posted, so you may be on the exclusion list if you have six or more unexcused absences and 14 or more unexcused tardies. Email Dr. K if you have any questions or concerns. Here's more information on how to sign up for lunch attention. Also, be on the lookout for upcoming Saturday sessions. Have you recently committed to university or college? Fill out this Google form so we can showcase your plans for the next four years. Seniors, are you interested in being a part of our prom fashion show? Stop by the ASB room after school from 3.45 p.m. to 5 p.m. and go to the ASB room and strut your stuff. The prom fashion show will take place on April 29th. On the day of the prom fashion show, you will be able to get your hair and makeup professionally done and wear a prom dress or suit. Auditions are open to all seniors. Don't forget, prom is on May 14th. If you would like to bring a guest into our prom, please stop by the discipline office to pick up your guest pass form and turn it in no later than 48 hours before the dance. Once approved, the guests are required to pay the non-ASB ticket cost. Speaking of tickets... Hey guys, my name is Lizeth. And I'm Angela. And we're here from the junior class to remind you that prom tickets will go on sale the week we come back from spring break. Start at $75 with ASB and $80 without. It will increase by $10 every week. The last week of sales is from May 9th to May 13th. They will be sold for $100 with ASB and $105 without ASB. The guest passes can be picked up in the discipline office and they will be sold for a regular price, not ASB prices. So get them soon.
Seniors, if you purchase your tickets for grad night and or beach trip, make sure to pick up a permission slip for both grad night and beach trip on April 25th in the ASB student store or print it from the class of 2022 website. Once your permission slips have been signed by your parents or guardians, turn them into the ASB student store and you will be able to sign up for which bus you'd like to ride on for either trip. Don't forget to order your cap and gowns from jostens.com. Lastly, don't forget to follow the Class of 2022 Instagram for more information and reminders. That's all for this week, Knights. Until next time, and as always, Knights do it right.